This is Reality Scan from Epic Games. Reality Scan is a free to download app that enables you to create high definition 3D models using just your phone or tablet. The app is available free for iOS and Android devices. Stick around and I'll show you how I made this 3D model in just five minutes. Once you've downloaded the app and opened it on your phone, you'll be met with this page. Yours will be blank, but as you can see, I've done a few tests. After you hit the blue button in the right hand top corner, this screen will open up and you can start taking photographs of your model. Now, take a photograph and then move slightly to one side, then take another photograph and then move again. Don't rush this because it can go wrong. If it does, the picture in your 3D space will go red. Just hover over the picture and it'll tell you where you've gone wrong. Keep going round as many times as you want. I did it three times from middle, top to bottom. Once the software has got enough images analyzed on the screen, you'll see a red, orange and green pattern. Green meaning good, red obviously bad. So you've got to get as much green on the image as possible. So keep going around. Unfortunately, you max out at 200 pictures. At this point, I stepped back to see how it got on to see if all the pictures were green. Now, not all of the model was green, so I didn't think the model would come out any good, but I thought I'd give it a go. After hitting the blue button, you're greeted with this screen. Basically, it gives you a white crop box with blue boxes on the outside and a circle in the middle. These will help you crop out the unwanted bits that you don't want in your scene. I go about moving each blue box until I've cropped out everything I don't want and I have the statue in the middle. Now I hit the crop button. Now after all the images have been analysed and the model has been generated, you can see a point cloud and a model button. Click on the model button. There you go. The model has been made and you can now rotate around it to see how good it is. Seeing as though the top was red. I didn't think it was going to come out all right, but yep, yeah, it looks pretty good. And now we click continue. We just enter our title and our description in these boxes and hit process and export. Your 3D model is then exported out to Sketchfab, where you can download the original format and XBF. After downloading, you'll end up with three files, the model itself, the texture and a normal map. You can import that into Unreal Engine. We'll do that now. Now I've opened up a scene in Unreal. Let's create a folder, name it Statue. Now we'll import our model. Come over to the uh, FBX import option. Run down and I'll just leave this on the screen so you can see my settings. Scroll down, there you go and hit input all okay you can see there's the model and the textures normal map diffuse so let's bring our model into the scene move it down a little bit to take away the bottom and there you go obviously if you wanted to trim the bottom you could have done it in the crop or you can do it in Unreal with the modeling function. And there you go. One model made in five minutes with one phone taking a series of pictures. I don't think it's that bad. It's something you could use to create a model that you have to put in the back of your scene. Uh, and if you want a more detailed model, then there's reality capture. It's something I'm going to be looking at in the future. I hope you like this. I hope you like what I'm doing. Thank you.